Hello, everyone. And in this uh, section, we are going to cover the custom investments staffing module uh, that is new in 15.7.1. So starting 15.7.1, our customers will now be able to support the ability to add staff to their custom investments. Essentially, the staff would include roles, resources, labor and non labor resources. And once the staff is added, their actuals can then be tracked within the custom investment itself. Why is this important? Customers that have started to use the custom investments, and it's more than just for project purpose, obviously you're using the custom investments to be able to track uh, details around certain types of investments, such as uh, if I run a medical center, and in my medical center, I want to be able to track whether it's my contracts for the different medical centers, whether it is my medical center uh, equipments that are being delivered, or my medical centers itself that are spanned across the different countries. These are different investments I'm trying to do, and I might want to track the resources that are working on each one of these individuals, whether it's the doctors and the nurses that are assigned to my medical centers, or it could be uh, just my suppliers that are delivering the medical equipment or my IT staff that is working on making sure that the networks and, uh, and the softwares are working correctly in each one of my medical centers. So that's why now I have that ability to track the staffing for my custom investments. Uh, staffing module is available in your blueprint. So starting 15.7.1, as you upgrade, you will see the staffing module as a new module that is available and that can be included in your either existing blueprint or be part of any new blueprint you create for your custom investments. In order for the end user to be able to do something in the staffing module, there is a combination of access rights that is needed at a minimum the user needs to have the view access right to your custom investment. This could be either global instance or OBS access right to your custom investments. Once you have that right, the end user can come into your custom investment, go to the staff module, be able to see the staff. However, if they need to make changes to it, such as add a new staff, remove a staff, then they need additional rights. Those rights are edit rights to your custom investment, and you need the resource soft or hard booking rights. We also support the soft, mixed, and hard booking uh, as your booking status for the staff module. The staff module is built on the common component that is shared across the custom investment as well as um, projects. This allows the end user to be able to uh, use all the functionality that's there in the common grid, such as being able to add new columns, be able to save your view. And then once you have saved that view, when you go to other instance of that custom investment or go to the projects, you will be able to leverage the same, um, same view. We also support the, the per period um, metrics, which is you can define if you want to see the staffing module, uh, the, uh, the staffing data for a certain duration, or you want to see it for the period of your investment length itself. So the start and end of your custom investment. The staffing module has also been enhanced to uh, support infinite scrolls when you are adding resources to your module. So in the previous releases prior to 15.7.1, if you went to the staff module for project, you would click on the plus sign and you would get the option to add a resource. By default, we were only showing 25 resources. And um, if you filtered, we would trim the list down. But at the most, you can see in the drop down was 25. Starting 15.7.1, We've now added the ability to see more than 25. In fact, now it has the infinite scroll. So depending on how many roles and resources are available to you, you can keep scrolling down and uh, keep seeing additional data. So with that, let's uh, quickly jump over to the product and see the new staff module. So here I am in 15.7.1. I am 
going to actually so here are all my custom investments in this case i am going to go into my medical center which is where i'm tracking all the different uh, medical centers i have across the nation and you can see i have four different medical centers that are spanned across different parts of america um, with their own different names i'm going to go into an individual one that is in chicago and here i have my new staff module available of course this is added using the blueprint and when i go into the staff module i can see the different uh, teams that have been assigned in this case i have um, the chicago doctors and chicago nurses assigned to my um, to my medical center as well as i have soft booked the it dba team and it support engineering team so these are all teams so as you can see i can assign either individual team or i can assign uh, the individual themselves using the plus sign i can add any additional resource and this is where you can see i'm obviously showing you more than 25 so this is that infinite scroll where now i have all the resources available to me and i can uh, search for one and as I do so, it filters it down and then that many resources are available to me, which either have the name uh, Archie in there uh, that has the name Archie or has the role architects in there. You can see this is built in using the common components. I have the option to save the different views or I can add additional columns. So all the staff related attributes are available to me and I can see them. This, let's uh, switch over to my TSV view. And I can see now my data in the TSV format. I can see that the start and the end period is based on my instance start date and end period, or I can easily switch that to any specific time period that I wanted to see. That concludes my demo for the staff module.